All new at five, your Christmas card. Your Christmas card is waiting to be delivered now in April. The Fort Myers Postal Processing Center has unbelievable backlogs. Over one million pieces of mail are in boxes like this, sitting stagnant, and each day the piles get bigger. All right, so take a look at one of these letters. This first one is stamped Greenville, South Carolina. Look at the date on it, if you can see it. It is the 3rd of January from this year. And then this one, San Antonio, Texas. But look at the date, December 4th of last year. Wait News anchor Emma Heaton joins us live from the post office. And Emma, people have reached their boiling point. Lois, people here are steamed every day. They walk into this processing facility and see letters from as early as September of last year to January of this year and millions of others. They just sit there in bins stagnant. Now, I wasn't allowed to see for myself, but I do have photos to prove it. Bins and bins of sealed envelopes. These photos make Sam Wood and Danny Carinci mad. We've seen it just get worse and worse. And that's unacceptable. It's a, it's a disservice to the American public. Wood and Carinci yeah, heads up the local American Postal Workers Union. Told me approximately 1.5 million pieces of mail are delayed per day. This one from December of 2023, another from January. Wood told me the dates go back to September of last year. But no matter the date, all this mail just sits in bins day after day. Everything in there from Christmas cards from last year, Social Security Administration, where people's trying to send or send things to Social Security Administration, to veterans. Uh, we got all kinds of stuff just sitting in there. Mail from businesses just sitting in there, not not moving. Earlier this year, Postmaster General Louis DeJoy announced cost cutting measures. The move cut employees and hours, refusing to allow for overtime. Currency also cited a lack of proper training for employees as a key factor contributing to the delays. That mail forwarding that uh, Sam had mentioned, it has to be processed manually. You have to be trained to do that and they're not doing it. That's why it's sitting there. The Tuesday Postal Service employees have had meetings with congressmen about the delays, even sent letters to the Office of Inspector General, but concerns seem to be falling on deaf ears. We've gone through the proper procedures to try to get our voices heard on this issue, and no one's listening. Tonight, Woods and Carinci are hoping management will reconsider the decision they made on overtime pay and help them fix this problem. Wink News reached out to the Postal Service and a spokesperson responded with a statement saying the Postal Service is committed to providing the best service possible for our valued customers. Live in Fort Myers, Emma Heaton, Wink News. All right, thank you very much, Emma.